So what do we have over here? We got some plastic skeletons. We have some pork and beans. Actually, I'll take the pork and beans. Thank you, because I haven't had anything to eat in a little while. There you go. Two radiation. Never hurt anybody. So you're the one, right? Maybe. Meat lockers. They're, they're literally called meat lockers, even though they don't have any meat in them. And they're not made of meat. And here is the other one, then. Did we, did we pull it off? I think we did. Dog? God. Hey. Thank you. For whatever you have done, I will remain here. Need to get my strength back. Yeah, we're not gonna need him as a companion anymore. And we also have the key. I don't know where I picked it up. I might... Uh, I don't know where it was. Either way. So, are these now still... No! They're not inaccessible anymore. This door is hermetically sealed. And of course, this takes us to this little room where we were before. Oh, this one is still inaccessible. I mean, the door isn't inaccessible. The What lies beyond? is inaccessible. Okay. Okay, we're, we're done. We're safe. Let's, uh... Let's see what, what next quest it is that we have to do. We have to look for Dean and for Christine. Should we focus on Christine first or on Dean? We're gonna focus on Dean first, I'm pretty sure. I don't know why... why the game chose that quest automatically, but I'm pretty sure it is the better choice. Me sort of remembering how this goes. But I don't really remember how this goes. That dialogue with Dog is, is really cool. I, I... Are we friends? Yeah, we are. I, I knew it was a story beat. So, it's it's really cool looking back at it. But the first time, it's it's really cool. You've got one of the floors reestablished. Good. Accessing the music archives now? Two more to go. Oh. It seems the casino has uninvited guests. The villa inhabitants were pounding at the doors. Now they found a way inside. Deal with them, and don't try and leave yourself, or I'll let the caller do its work. Yeah, there's a few of them around here. That's not a problem. I killed them with one hit. Because I am the one punch man, Marty. Come here. Come here. Actually, a few punch men. There you go. There's more of them? Oh, they're throwing their explosives at me. Fortunately for me, they only have the one. Did you die? That looks like... Oh, man, they're still banging at the door? Still requires a key. The key doesn't exist in the game. Because they don't want you to go back outside. So, this door was open before. And we could have gone through it. Immediately. There's nobody around. We got some tickets. If that ghoul's still alive, correct that. Or break him. Tampico's front desk terminal. We're gonna hack it from behind. Good. What do we have? Sierra Madre Control Network. The Tampico's show... Or rather, the Tampico's shows list. The Sierra Madre, Madre opens its doors to the world. The opening of our great casino and resort will feature a, a unique gala showcasing artists of world renown. Miss Vera Keys, Dr... Not Dr. Mr. Uh, I don't know why. Either way. Uh, Mr. Dean Domino. Joey Baxter and Wilfred the Wizard. Come join us at the grandest event in the the history of the West. We welcome you to the best time of your life. Sincerely, the Sierra Madre's management. And we have the performance protocols over here. The Tampico's performance scheduling. Performance preparations. Doors to Tampico's stage open. Hologram sentries on. Ambient audio system on. Stage audio system off. 
It's interesting that everything is capitalized in this uh, in this text. Performance in progress. Doors to Tampico's stage closed. Hologram sentries off. Ambient audio system off. Stage audio system on. In case of emergency, see the stages control or stages manager to override security port protocols. Sierra Madre management. Can I actually do it from here? Sierra Madre's lobby security code. I just got it. Okay, an urgent message for Mrs. Potentially E Saints. John K. Lester. Who's John K. Lester? Is that the owner of the casino? Sinclair is the owner, the owner of the casino. We never deal with him because he's dead. I'll be right there, Eve. Just hide until I get there. Do whatever you need to do, understand? I'm not going to let anything happen to you. And Evelyn A. Sainz says, Johnny, help. Everything exploded. There's smoke. Oh, that's probably the bombs then. Oh, yeah, it is. 21st, uh, 23rd of October, 2077. Everything exploded. There's smoke. Holograms are firing at people. We can't get out. John, please. I imagine they all died because of, you know, the end of the world sort of thing that m happened. Din Domino indeed. King of Swing. Really? He was a dancer. Potentially a player. I don't know. I don't actually... I'm not particularly familiar with whatever swing is supposed to be. I mean, I know it's a dance. In person, Joey Baxter and his sensational 10-piece band. Oh, does he play everything himself? Cool. Welcome to YouTube. <laughs> the one-man show channels on YouTube. Do you know what I mean? There's a lot of plastic skeletons. Ooh. Tampico's front desk terminal password. I don't need that. Um, And that is... Oh, no. That's just Vera Keys, most likely. Well, actually, we do we know that it is Vera Keys? The, you know, the NPC models are pretty inconclusive in regards to facial features and all this sort of stuff. Although they shouldn't be. Just, the thing is just they're holograms. You know how it goes. More plastic skeletons. And uh, something that I can absolutely deal with. Oh, it's... No. It's good. I was going to say it's broken and it can't be... It can't be interacted with, but it absolutely can. Look for Dean in the Tampico Theater. Search for the backstage key. Wait, is he backstage? Because he's definitely not out here. Oh, that one is broken. Or not broken, but, you know, can't do anything to it. So there's a bunch of radios up here. And an inaccessible door. Wait, this is the interior. Take Vera's partitures. A key slides out of Vera's partitures. Wait. Please tell me that isn't... Backstage key. Oh, come on. Oh. I'm gonna need to disable... Some of these people. Excuse me. Might die, actually. Ah! Oh! Goodbye, cruel world. Oh, look at all the plastic skeletons. Wait. They don't see me from here? Also, there's no robots in here? Wait, is that true? If that's the case... Okay, that requires a key. We're not gonna mess with that. If that's the case, I might as well just wait. Hmm. Yeah, those things are annoying. Oh. Ah, nothing. Where are we going eventually, though? There's no way up there. So it could be through that door. There's an intercom. Broken. Door sealed. Must be a key to the backstage. Hunt for it. Yes. That makes more sense than just following the quest marker. And then we would find this. Okay, so I'm not going to go there because the radio... Not the radio, the... Ooh, interesting. The holograms show up after I get the key because 
Of course they do. Uh, okay. And clearly, everything wants to kill me, including the holograms. So this thing just doesn't open. And this radio is going to kill me again? No. No, it isn't. Okay, well. I guess we're not going up there. But we're going somewhere. Finally, a friendly face. Hey, partner. Up here. The inner bit of a predicament here. Had to duck backstage, take a powder. The audience is a little murderous tonight. How did you get up there? No idea. Woke up here, thought I was dreaming for a second. Right back on the stage. The mic. Thought I was back at the fronds. Well... Except no audience used to pack theatres back then. So, stepped up on the stage, checked things out. Then suddenly, holograms walked out of the wings. They started raising their hands to their heads, all creepy-like. Not a good sign. That is very creepy. I hope it's not... I don't know if it's the same holograms as the ones that are about to kill us once we are done with this dialogue. I didn't see any security coming in, only the speakers. Look, those ghosts are going to come out of the wings behind you in a second. The security types, not the friendly, bald types. And if you got in here, the door's probably locked tight behind you. So don't back up or run for the exit. You're not going to make it. Trust me, as soon as you can, run to the door to the left. Use the key you got out of the music rag there and camp out. As bad as things are, it's going to get a lot worse if either of us pops. So get backstage until we get a better plan. Thank you for telling me how to get out of this, because I would have died. Also, until one of us pops. Once one of us pops, both of us pop. Don't forget about that. Getting backstage is a temporary measure if, it, if I can't find the security terminal. Yeah, yeah, right. So, let's see. Security's here because the show hasn't started. Guests aren't allowed in, so... Guess we need to start the show. <clears throat> okay, so when they were setting this place up, we had rehearsals. And uh, <laughs> Sinclair even set up hologram recordings of the shows so we could watch and critique our performances before a fake audience. Whatever. Thing is, when the recording queued up, a nice, calm, appreciative audience appeared in the theater. No security with their head blasting zap rays. So, find the music, get it to the projector room upstairs, then play it. Might reset security with a shot. Yeah, we read about that when we came in. Dean, the theater speakers are wired to a central sound system, right? Yeah, yeah, so what? We got bigger problems with the holograms. No, uh, no, wait, you're right. The theater piped music and sound backstage, which means those little squealers are in the corridors back there too. Calm down, do you know specifically where? Uh, let's see. Um, once you break right, watch each turn in the corridor. One will be on your right past my dressing room and up. Oh, uh, my dressing room. May have left the radio on right by the table. Uh, if you could just shut it off instead of blowing it a... Uh, never mind. And there was a speaker in the prop room, too, on the wall between the entrances. And, well, walk slow. There's bound to be more. Yeah, that's the radios and speakers. What about the central sound system? The speakers are all controlled by a central console. It's the farthest from the only door out of here, so you'd need to do a full circuit of the corridor to get to it. Once there, you'll need to shut it down, and I don't have the code. If you have the code, you can turn off all the speakers, make them settle down. Getting backstage should buy us time, just take it slow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I need a little more than that to go on if we're going to break out of here. Uh, right. Uh, let's see. When you get the door open, there'll be an exit door dead ahead. Don't take it. 
It's most likely filled with toxins from the vents, so hug the wall. Make as much space between you and the door, or it's cloud nine in a casket. Past that is my dressing room. Under the table, there's a footlocker. It's tucked back a bit, so you might miss it. Inside, a gun, some ammo. Not much help against the ghost. Still, if you're about to give up, call it quits. Throw it to me, so I can eat a bullet first. Wait, I need to head to the door to your left or my left? Actually, he did say to your left, to my left. So, I thought it was the on the other side of the theater, or the stage. What? Oh, uh, my left, your right. So, yeah, run to the door on your right. <laughs> Almost got you killed there. Us killed there. Okay. I think I, w I really thought it was on the on my left. I think he said your left, but either way, um, the casino security system is pissing me off. You are preaching to the choir. Sinclair and his security don't even get me started. Those holograms. Look, just get rid of them, all right? Tried to slip off stage, then they all started changing color and raising their hands. Not a good sign. Yeah, I know. So that's the... We're safe. Wow! And of course we know there's... There's... Things outside. Oh, it's the toxic cloud in here. Cool. Cool, cool. Also a radio. How are we gonna deal with this? Hmm. Where did he say he put the radio? Well, I think I turned one of them off. Oh, that's where you are. But I can't do this. It's a real shame that we can punch the radio. It, like, it doesn't make any sense. It's just an engine limitation, I suppose. Okay, we're safe now. Yeah, this is probably his room. Hey, you found my old room. I mean, it's a little small. And hey, watch the hands in there. I remember where I left everything on it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna in investigate everything. Because I, I already took stuff. It's a pre-war book. There's Dean's safe. He's not gonna mind this. Besides, he's a piece of crap, so who cares? I mean, if he does. I mean, who cares if he does? Doctor's bag. Dean Domino's blackmail tape. Oh, the pre-war money. I don't need that. I have a lot of it. Huh. Is that Vera? Probably is. Yep. That confirms it, then. That confirms it. That's the same picture as the posters that I was talking about. Vera's backstage key. Also, it's kind of super bad that he has the key in, on his in his uh, room but let's just check the under thing over here nothing that I want he did talk about that I'm gonna drink a little bit from his sink and uh, let's see what this blackmail blackmail tape is all about pretty as a picture uh, Dean I didn't hear you come in I'm not wearing my dancing shoes, so I walk a little softly now. What? You think I was a Chinaman? Come to cut your American throat. Dean, really? What? No hug? Come here. Dean, I'm getting ready. You sing like a bird, pop the safe, and we're as through as through can be. Dean, I just... About tonight, I... I don't know. You don't know? I ask one simple favor of you, and you tell me no. I didn't say no. I just said that I don't think... You're right. You don't think. I don't need you. I'll send you back to the farm. Worse off than you were, because you'll have seen the Sierra Madre and had to let it all go. I could have gotten any leggy dame out of Hollywood to get out here and play Sinclair's heartstrings. You just happen to be the one
one I caught. And it was really your own fault. A little too much into the chems and meds and... Oh, shh, don't cry. Look, I'm not trying to hurt you. Just one last little job. A little less dirty. A little less messy. He trusts you, Vera. And so do I. After this, I promise you, all those other horror tapes, they'll go away. Of course, Dean. And that's Vera Keys, obviously. Voiced by Laura Bailey, the same voice actress who plays... I forget her name, as I mentioned before, the, the leader of the Followers of the Apocalypse, and also in the radio, the voice in the radio, when we came in here. It's been a while. It's been a long while. Let's see if we can manage not to die before we talk to Dean again. Oh, there you are. Am I gonna have time? Yes, I am. Really running low on ammo on this thing. Hmm. Maybe I can shut down these ghosts using the stage manager's old terminal. What are you talking about? Damn it! Well, so much for that idea. Oh, look at that! It's a tiny plastic skeleton! Clearly not the skeleton of a child, because look at the size of that head. That is the same di proportion as, the, you know, that's that's how that's how you actually that is the easiest way to make a child just make the head bigger, and there it is. Whatever your drawing style or your art style or all that, just makes the you make the head bigger. It looks childish. That's it. There's other things as well, shoulder width, and a bunch of other things. But yeah, just just the head alone is enough. They didn't do that though for that. They couldn't. They did the technology. They didn't have the technology for for Fallout New Vegas. Ah, uh, there you are. Hey, you're making real progress. Good. Uh, look, that's Vera's room. So careful what you touch in there. Be respectful. Well, at least she's not scum like you. Where's the other radio? Ambient audio control. Power off. Yeah, power it off. Status report. I think everything is good. Yeah, that's all I needed. Yeah, that confirms it. It absolutely confirms it. That's Vera. I mean, I don't know why we thought it, it was anybody else. But... A little bit of purified water. We don't need it. Bobby pins, on the other hand... We can never have enough of those. I mean, we can. We have way more than enough, but the point is they don't weigh anything, so I can just carry whatever. Meeting people. Oh, that's Dean Domino right there. She also has a picture of him. And sexy sleepwear. I thought it was going to be a... A dress for Veronica. And no, she doesn't wear that. Uh, I've never tried. I don't know. Uh, Dean Domino saw her yesterday. Is that a song? Yeah, it is. Also a key. This holiday contains Dean Domino's Melody. Saw her yesterday. Melody is probably not the correct word. I mean, it is. It's a lo colloquial term for a song, but it isn't the correct term for a song. Um, still can't go in there. Can I go back here now? Yes, I can. Hmm. Hold it together, Dean. You've been in worse jams. Like uh, Madrid. Christ, Madrid. <laughs> oh, my, my God. Okay, I'm not really capable. Okay. Yeah, you can't see me. I know you're yellow, but, you know. So, it's a pretty color. It's, a, it's, it's like a little, it's a little mixture of lettuce yellow and, uh... Oh, I can't go back there. Lettuce yellow and a little bit of a beige. Is it up here that I need to go? I mean, the quest marker seems to point to it being... Yes, it is. Aha! Uh -huh, computers! That's not how these things work, by the way. I don't... I, don't, I have no idea what... Who, dis who animated that. <laughs> Holotape projector. Holotape can play holotapes. Yes. Uh, what would you like to play? Let's leave it right now, because we're 
still getting all the things. Line congressional style. Oh, look at that. We don't have. Uh, we have enough speech. Yeah, that's that's a, a that's a book for for nothing because we don't need it. It says speech increased, but it didn't because. Yeah. So let's play Dean Domino's holotape tape of I saw her yesterday. Oh, it's that one. Really? Oh, everybody's very happy. Yay, it's Dean Domino. Ooh, he actually has a model in the game. Oh, he went away. Now, deal with the ghoul. This has gone on long enough. Nice job. Good thing I was distracting him while you flicked off. We're a good team. I run the show while you run the box office. I don't run the box office. What are you talking about? I don't run anything. What? Uh, can I go in now? Oh, those electric ghosts aren't the kind of audience I like at the best of times. At least the ones in the villa had manners. Don't even know how I ended up here. Guess the casino still recognizes guests, even after all this time, huh? <laughs> How's that for history? Uh, yeah, lucky us. Love getting shot at the at by pre-war ghosts. Look, I'm more about the short goodbyes than long, thankful speeches. But I appreciate you bailing me out of a tight spot there, partner. I know you didn't do it out of the goodness of your heart. So let me give you something a little more practical. A way we both come out ahead. I'm listening. I'm not an idiot. I know the reason I'm in here now is because of the old guy. And you. And you're wearing a collar, so I trust you a little more than the old guy. He's more controlling than I'd like. Thing is, here's where being my partner pays off. See, I know how to get into the casino vault. I forgot about something. I said before that if I die, he dies, but that's not true. We learned that the radios interfere with the callers and so that they're not linked anymore. And that's why I can kill him if I want to do what Elder Elijah wants, which I don't. But that might not mean that I don't want to kill him. 